Um, so he kicks me out. I'm living in my car. So my mom's working at an insurance company and she's like, come and I think I can get you a job here. She got me a job doing data entry and I kind of righted the ship. I quit smoking cigarettes. I quit smoking weed. I'm just kind of a weekend warrior drinking, but I'm still doing bands. Now I'm at the age where I'm actually in bands with singers and we play the whiskey and back then, oh wow, that's huge. The, up in Hollywood. Yeah. Well, but it isn't. I mean, any idiot, especially back then, could get on stage with with it. And they had this thing called the No Bozos Jam on Mondays, where it's just like every band got like four songs, and it would pack out. And back then, it was so much easier to get people to go to shows, and there's less fighting for people's attention. Mm-hmm. And the first, I my ripping bass player I alluded to earlier, he was a band slut. He would jump from band to band to band. That's what we called him back then. Band slut. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Guys that just don't stay loyal to any band. They're in this band, that band, that band. Right. And he's like, come play in this band. I was like, oh, that music sucks. But okay. He's like, we got a show at the Whiskey. And I was like, okay. 